So hey everyone and welcome back and today I'm going to be showing you how to do an edgy scale and shake in Premiere Pro. You're going to need the Sapphire plugin so yeah let's get started. Now the first thing we are going to do is have our clips ready and then we want to do is create a scale. So I'm going to set the beginning to 125, head towards the end and then head about 6 keyframes back. So about 5 or 6 keyframes before the end and you're going to set this back to 100. Click on the arrow to graph this so I'm just going to graph it so I'm just going to click on the last keyframe and just pull this handle all the way to the left head towards the end but one keyframe back so around here and you want to set the keyframe to 125 once again click this handle and drag it to the right to zoom in click on the second keyframe and you want to pull the handle to the right just like that make sure it's on level so not too high or not too low just around there and you should get something that looks like this now as you can see we've created our scale out and scale in now we are going to copy what we just did onto the second clip so just right click over here on motion and click on copy Head over to the second clip and just right click anywhere here and click on paste. We are going to make some adjustments to the scale on the second clip. So the first keyframe should be 140 instead of 125. And now you should get this. So next up we are going to add the twitch shake. So create an adjustment layer and drag it on top of the clips. Turn it down to about 4 frames. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And you want to search for the directional blur effect. This one right here called S blur directional. Drag it onto the adjustment layer. And what you want to do here is keyframe all of these three. So the blur amount, the angle and the shift. And what you need to do is copy down my settings so i'm going to set the blur amount to 200 the angle to 60 and the shift to 3 next keyframe uh, it should be 80 negative 150 and the final one should be 3 as well next one so 40 negative 65 and 2 and the final one should be 20 300 and 0 0.5 so going through it once again just copy down my settings if you've made any mistakes so that's the first this is the second and the third and also the fourth you want to hold alt on your keyboard if you're on windows i think it's command if you're on mac so hold whichever key it is and then just click and drag it onto the second clip and make sure it's at the beginning so now you should have a second twitch effect and that is pretty much all you need to do so it should look something like this Anyways, thank you for watching, have a great day, and I will see you next time, so yeah, peace.